Mm -hmm. That's the subject of the painting, right? And this is traditional art. This is, you can see here as an example, this is traditionally how art is taught. To look at something as still life in this example, it's very common to use a still life, and then to paint it. So that makes this the object. I want you to stretch your imagination and reverse it. I want this to be the subject, and that is just an object. You can look at it to your heart's delight, but the painting that we're going to work on is about painting, not about the apples. And so, if you Come can back, do that, you ready to go? careful, TJ. We got uh, the dogs. In this. Oh, okay. If you can do that, if you can let go and reverse the subject-object in your mind, which I know is a real difficult thing for most people, then what it will also do is break every single chain that holds you back to make a painting the way you want to make it. And guess what? You can make any single mark you want, anything. It can look just like this. If you turn around, that's Mondrian style. And then you could say, this is an apple. And guess what? You're right. And so that is the lesson that I was that I want to project to people, and even saying it now, I get the the hair rises. Yeah, because it sounds so profound. And so I hope, I hope that one person will actually maybe begin to see that because I know that many artists do it, but only after a hundred years of painting. I never thought that way. You gotta paint every single day forever until you realize you're not painting the apples, you're painting the painting. That's my whole story for you. And now I'm about to show you. So you can pause.